thing. You know, we, we have, I'm not going to say any names, but you know who we're talking about, threatens to sue everybody. So if, if you act like you want to help us, he'll threaten to sue you. And no one can match it. No one can, no one can go to court and battle it. it, it, it yeah, yeah. Here's what I say. Sue me if you want to, bro. Because I talked to him and, 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 and Dave and Walter, sue me. I'm telling you right now, you're corrupt. You're a liar. You're a thief. And it's going to stop. I'm going to get you, bro. You're going to get up out of boxing and go back to hustling pizzas or whatever you did in New York City with your restaurants because you're fucking up boxing. He screwed up Teofimo Lopez to where he lost a fight. You know, he should have never lost that fight. He's messing with Steve. He's messing with Conwell. He's messing with so many different people's careers, man. And he thinks it's a game. It's not a fucking game, man. It's not a hey, game. Hey, Reed, let me ask you a question. Yeah. You know, um, Terrence Crawford case went public when, you know, he talked about Bob Barham. And right. they gave a description of, uh, uh, where account of, you know, what um, Terrence gets for training camps. Terrence gets Fifty thousand for each training camp. I know for the last three, he got fifty thousand. That's what that's what he said. Fifty thousand. Right. That's in the transcripts in, right. in the court battle. How the hell do you get charged two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for a fucking training camp? That's crazy. It's crazy. Teofimo Lopez got charged a quarter million dollars for his training camp. And here's the deal. Top rank supposedly paid that quarter million dollars. No, they paid two hundred and fifty, and and they paid two hundred and fifty. Got charged to or something like that. You know they, you know Tia Fimo said it in the news. He he was complaining. He said he fought Lomo. I think he said he got one point seven. This was in the news. He said he got one point seven million, but he was complaining to the promoters that he only took six hundred thousand home. So on Wednesday, January 12th, the current WBO welterweight champion filed a lawsuit against his former promoter in Nevada. The suit alleges racial bias by top rank founder and chairman Bob Arum. Michael Benson tweets out a statement from Bob Arum in response to Terrence Crawford's lawsuit against top rank. Bob Arum had to say, Bud Crawford's lawsuit against top rank is frivolous. His vile accusations of racism are reckless and indefensible. He knows it, and his lawyer knows it. I have spent my entire working life as a champion of black boxers, Latino boxers, and other boxers of color. I have no doubt the court will see Crawford's case for the malicious extortion attempt that it is. Listen, man, everybody knows Bob Aaron fixes fights. OK, he's known for that. He's been raided by the FBI. He's had injunctions by the state gaming commissions. Um, and, you know, it, it took Don King standing up to him about Muhammad Ali at the, at the end of his career. And, um, you know, he's a lawyer. I mean, people don't understand that, you know, he's a Harvard educated lawyer. He's got quick wit, you know, that kind of stuff. And he founded and he's a CEO of top rank. But now he's kind of old and just kind of shuffles around. But back in the day, I mean, he. You know, that, that's who he was, man. He played the game like Monopoly. He didn't play it like like boxing. And that's what these guys are doing. They're playing it like something else. But there's boxing also games around the world's getting ready to change, though, man. I'm telling you, it's getting.